In this video, I weigh something. 3.8 kilograms. Open something up. <laughs> and boost the power. 170 watts. It's Dad Vinci time. So further to our previous video on the Jackery Explorer 500 and Solar Saga 100 watt panel, which is now being suggested in the top corner, I wanted to do a different kind of comparison to portable solar panels. So I thought I'd test out a rigid glass solar panel from Renergy and just see how it compared against the Jackery. Now I've had the Jackery for a little while now and I must say I'm very impressed with the performance and its portability. So I put these two together to see how they'd fare. So the energy panel that features in this video can also be purchased with a 20 amp PWM solar charge controller attached, meaning you can charge batteries direct from the panel itself. But for me, I only have lithium ion phosphate batteries and I prefer MPPT solar charge controllers for that chemistry. And I also have solar generators and portable power stations that have MPPT controllers built in. So I have no need for the additional solar charge controller in this case. Anyway, enough chat, let's go. So when you open the box, this is what you're left with. And this is like a protective cover or case that zips around your panel so that it keeps it in reasonable condition while you're out and about. And on the top here, and I'm hoping you can see that, there's a little cutout there for the handle. So the handle can lift through without any problems at all. And this handle itself is spring-loaded and it's quite substantial because it needs to be for actually carrying this particular panel around. So let's uh, open this up now. I'll just flip that round now. So as you can see, it just opens up like that. And then the panel just lifts out like so. So there's the panel itself. So on the top there, you've got a couple of clips there. That's obviously to keep it shut. So all you do is you just literally clip that up like that. And the same again like that, they're quite stiff, but they're actually good at holding it together. And then you lift the handle up, and then it opens up like so. So I'm just going to lay this out properly and show you what it looks like. Right, as you can see, the panel is now opened up on the floor. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what's what on here. So these are actually two 50 watt panels connected together. and they're connected up just like this. So this cable goes into here, and then that connection then comes out of here to two MC4 adapters, meaning you can pretty much connect up to anything or even connect up to other panels in series or parallel that have these connectors. And you can also connect this straight to any kind of like solar generators or portable power stations, again, if you've got the right cables. So in the middle here, we've got a couple of hinges and these are all riveted on, which is good. So you haven't got any bolts to come loose. Over here, we've got uh, the legs, which actually help it stand up. And as you can see, it's really easy. You just literally pull it up like that to the corner and tighten up like so. And again, you do the same on the other side as well. You literally tighten it up and it really is as easy as that. And then you can lift it up. And the other thing is I want to mention is it has little protectors in each of the corners. So this actually just protects the edge of the panel itself. And you also have your label there, which gives you the details. Of the panels output at test conditions. So that's a quick tour of the back. So now the legs are in place, I've stood it up as it would be normally outside. And as you can see, my filming lights are reflecting nicely in the panels themselves. And also you can see on here the reason for these plastic edges. Now they're really coming to their own on the front and it's easier to see. So they actually stop the two panels rubbing together in the middle. And they also protect from anything on the ground as well. It gives it panels just that little bit of extra protection so that the frame doesn't get damaged. But as you can see on here, it's actually really quite a neat little unit and uh, quite easy to put together. So I'm just gonna flip it around on the side a little bit for you. And as you also see, there's some additional bolts here. And the bolts on the side and the bottom are there for the uh, support legs here. So these support legs obviously need to be attached to the frame somewhere. So these bolts are actually on both sides. So it's on that side. And if I spin that round as well, 
and it's replicated on here and also on the bottom here. So if you see a bolt on here, it's supposed to be there and that's so the legs can be used. So there you go. So one little tip I've got when it comes to packing this panel away to either take it somewhere else or just to store it is to actually use a protective cover underneath which actually saves the panel from getting scratched up. So obviously that's whether it's a hard surface or even on grass because you might have grit or stones in there as well. So don't lay it sort of down the middle but lay it ajar slightly so it doesn't sort of catch on the middle of where the protective cover folds up. But um, it really does make a difference when it comes to that in protecting your panels. So all you do is you literally just do the same as what you do when you assemble it. But the other thing I want to just make a point out of is the fact that you don't want this sort of rattling around in here. There's nowhere to really clip it. So to save it getting trapped between here or so, what I do is I just use one of these legs here and use the leg this side. And just make sure I put the cable underneath and tighten it up, ready to go away. And that stops the cable from sort of like moving about and potentially getting snagged. And again, you do the same on the other side. Put that down, tighten that up again to make sure it's okay. And then you literally just bring the panel back together again. Put the clips on. And then once the clips are on there, you literally stand it in the middle. And then you'll find that the protective cover comes up on its own. And then zip it up. And you're done. Time to weigh the Renergy panel now. So let's put that on and uh, see what we get. And then that's stopped. As you can see, it's 10 kilograms on the dot. And the Jackery panel is now on there and it's 3,812 grams, so that's 3.8 kilograms. So both panels are plugged in now. There's the Jackery and there's the Renergy. They've been out in the sun about the same amount of time. So let's see what we're getting on the Jackery itself. So the Jackery panel's given us about 82 watts. So let's plug in the Renergy one now. And that's giving us around 88 watts on this reasonably sunny autumn day in the UK. So first up, I'm just using one of my standard 100 watt rigid panels here just to see what we get on my EB150 as a test. So I'm sorry about the display, it's really difficult to see, but it looks like it's bringing in somewhere in the region of about 85 watts. So I'm just gonna plug in the Renergy one now and see what we get on that. So the Renergy panel's now plugged in, so let's see what we're getting on the display. And again, I'm sorry, it's difficult to read. I'm hoping that's a visible bit there. So it's saying 94 watts. So it's actually giving more than the standard 100 watt rigid panel that I've got and I use all the time. So that's a great result. So the Jackery 100 watt panel is now plugged into the EB150. So let's see what we're getting on screen. And again, sorry about the glare. It looks like it's about 91 watts. So that's even more than my standard 100 watt rigid panel, but not quite as much as the Renergy. So I've now got the 100 watt rigid solar panel connected up in series with the Renergy panel. So let's see what we're getting on the EB150. And again, apologies for the uh, glare. It looks like we're getting 170 watts. So it's great if you've got multiple panels you want to connect in series using the MC4 connectors. So in summary, these two panels offer the same thing but in different ways. So if you're looking to travel light, you're not too worried about connecting up to other panels 
and you like to charge directly from the panel itself, as in using the USB ports, then the Jackery might be the better option. And if you're looking for something that's weatherproof, offers greater connection flexibility, and is a cheaper option, then you might want to consider the Renergy. We hope you liked our video. All the links you'll need will be in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned to DaVinci.